Multiple myeloma is a relatively rare cancerous process that occurs in cats. It occurs more commonly in people and dogs. Also referred to as myeloma and plasma cell myeloma, this disease is not curable, but it can be successfully treated in some cats. Multiple myeloma. Starting in lymphocytes, multiple myeloma cells originate from lymphocytes, a normal type of white blood cell that resides in the bone marrow. Some lymphocytes become plasma cells, these lymphocytes differentiate into a variety of different types of cells, one of which is the plasma cell, an important component of the body's immune system. Sometimes, there are too many plasma cells, in cases of multiple myeloma, plasma cells developing within the bone marrow undergo a malignant transformation, and way too many plasma cells are manufactured. This means less room for other cells, this results in a crowding out of the normal bone marrow production of infection-fighting, white blood cells, oxygen-carrying, red blood cells and platelets, the cells responsible for controlling bleeding in the body. Myeloma patients often have dangerously low numbers of these normal cells within their bloodstream. The malignant cells spread, once released from the bone marrow, the malignant plasma cells often spread to other sites. Their favorite place to set up housekeeping is within bones where the damage caused by the cancer cells can create significant pain for the patient. Too many plasma cells lead to thick blood, plasma cells produce proteins called immunoglobulins that are the foot soldiers of the immune system. An overabundance of plasma cells, as is the case with multiple myeloma, translates into an overabundance of immunoglobulin found in the bloodstream. This immunoglobulin alters the normal thickness of the blood, transforming its normal water-like consistency to that of syrup. This change wreaks havoc within smaller blood vessels where the blood sludges and causes damage to the tissues. This is referred to as hyperviscosity syndrome and can be life-threatening, particularly if the brain is affected. Cause of multiple myeloma in cats According to a study found on PubMed, Gov, multiple myeloma in people has been associated with exposure to toxic chemicals present in tobacco smoke and emissions from petroleum refinery waste dumps and industrial operations. The cause of multiple myeloma in companion animals is unknown, and there is no breed or sex predilection. Middle-aged to older dogs and cats are most commonly affected. Symptoms of multiple myeloma in cats The major symptoms associated with multiple myeloma are caused by the spread of cancer cells, hyperviscosity syndrome, thick blood, and the underproduction of normal cells within the bone marrow. Additionally, some dogs and cats with myeloma develop hypercalcemia, a higher than normal level of calcium in the bloodstream. This hypercalcemia can produce a number of serious consequences over time, the most significant of which is kidney failure. Because multiple myeloma cells can wreak havoc in so many ways, the symptoms associated with this disease vary from patient to patient. Most commonly reported symptoms include lethargy, weakness, loss of appetite, lameness and or bone pain, unexplained bleeding, loss of vision, abrupt onset of neurological symptoms or seizures, Increased thirst and urine output. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Osteolysis. Bone lesions associated with multiple myeloma include discrete radiolucent lytic areas, punched out appearance, or diffuse osteopenia and commonly affect the axial skeleton and long bones. These lesions may be associated with severe bone pain, spinal cord compression, pathologic fracture, and hypercalcemia. However, only 50% of dogs have radiographic evidence of bone disease. Bone lesion detection improves with focused imaging on specific regions or bones versus routine survey abdominal and thoracic radiographs. In people, conventional radiography remains the gold standard imaging technique. Cytopenias Patients with multiple myeloma can develop anemia from a variety of causes including chronic disease, hemorrhage due to coagulopathy, myelophysis, and red blood cell destruction. Normocytic, normochromic, and non-regenerative anemia is one of the most common findings on a complete blood count, CBC, two-thirds of dogs and cats are affected. Pancytopenia may be seen in patients with marked bone marrow infiltration with neoplastic cells. Diagnosis of multiple myeloma in cats. The diagnosis of multiple myeloma is made when two or more of the following criteria are satisfied. Radiographs, X-rays, document characteristic bony changes caused by the spread of myeloma. Bone marrow analysis reveals an overabundance of plasma cells. An overabundance of strictly one type of immunoglobulins are shown circulating within the bloodstream. Normal blood contains several types. 
The patient's urine contains Bense Jones proteins, a characteristic type of immunoglobulin protein produced by many dogs and cats with multiple myeloma. A battery of tests is typically performed to make the diagnosis as well as to evaluate the patient's overall health. In addition to a thorough physical examination, testing may include a complete blood cell count, chemistry profile and urine analysis, full body radiographs, abdominal ultrasound, bone marrow collection and evaluation, protein electrophoresis performed on blood sample, screening for Bense Jones proteins performed on urine sample. Treatment of multiple myeloma in cats. The key to successful treatment of multiple myeloma is getting therapy started as soon as possible, so as to eliminate the excess plasma cells before they manage to cause a life-threatening problem such as a stroke, hemorrhage, infection or kidney failure. Your veterinarian may refer you to a veterinarian who specializes in oncology or internal medicine. Such specialists have significantly more experience treating this relatively uncommon disease. Treatment may include chemotherapy. The mainstay of multiple myeloma treatment is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy refers to medication that is absorbed by the body as a whole, therefore, it fights cancer cells throughout the body. The most commonly used medications to treat myeloma are administered orally, at home. They won't usually cause any problems, but your veterinarian may suggest frequent checkups. Radiation therapy, multiple myeloma cells are quite sensitive to radiation therapy. This mode of treatment can be used to rapidly diminish the pain associated with the spread of the cancer to bony sites. Radiation therapy is considered palliative, providing comfort, but does not replace chemotherapy in terms of fighting the disease. Biphosphonates, these are drugs that can be used to help manage bone pain caused by myeloma. They may also be helpful in reducing hypercalcemia, excess calcium in the bloodstream. They are not usually used with chemotherapy. Antibiotics Reduced production of white blood cells caused by myeloma makes infection more of a risk. Antibiotic therapy may play a critical role in preventing this serious myeloma complication. Pain management, the bone abnormalities associated with myeloma can be profoundly painful. Pain reduction medications could be necessary in such situations. Prognosis of multiple myeloma in cats. Cats respond somewhat unpredictably to myeloma therapy. According to ScienceDirect, Calm, in one study, only 5 of 8 cats experienced remission in response to therapy. At this time, there are no other reports involving more than one cat with myeloma. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.